Welcome back everyone. The national championships just finished on this Olympic year 2024 and the Olympic trials are just three weeks away. I was at the national championships and saw a lot of great gymnastics. I'm intrigued with comebacks as gymnastics is a very difficult sport to come back to after you've taken time off. Suni Lee is in the middle of a very successful comeback and I've already done a couple analysis videos of Suni Lee which I'll include at the end of this video. But I wanted to analyze her gymnastics as we are so close to the Olympic trials. Since seeing championships it seems we have a much better picture of what her final routines may be at the Olympic trials and today I want to take a closer look at her beam and bar routines and skills with the then and now comparisons and side-by-side -side comparisons of Suni Lee. Comebacks answer the potential nagging question, what if I would have tried? No matter what the outcome, one must have a measure of peace knowing the question is answered. Let's get started with the analysis. Suni Lee's old traditional mount was a simple jump into a center split on the beam. Now it appears to be a round off layout back step out onto the beam done very well. This is the same mount Alicia Dudnik used in her beam routine. I've done an analysis of Alicia Dudnik and I'll leave that link in the description. Here's a side by side with Simone Biles doing the very trendy triple wolf turn. They both do the spin very fast. Suni adds a double wolf turn after. You can see her spot the beam at each half turn and she uses her arms to micro adjust throughout these turns. In her leap, she hits a slight oversplit and has seemingly maintained very good flexibility throughout her comeback. Beautiful position here with her head back. Losing sight of the beam is required to get the full value of this leap. If you watch her hands closely, her shapes, fingers, and accents contribute greatly to her lines and elegance. I do believe those small things make a large difference to the big picture of her gymnastics. A very solid aerial walkover. She still sees the beam when her foot lands on the beam. This is very good technique and helps greatly with stability and consistency. Here's a slight change in her sequence. She is uniquely consistent then and now on the side aerial into two back layout step outs. Scoring up after the side aerial is the challenge on this series and she does it very well. Any micro adjustments to stay centered on her two back layouts start right here. Her arms are the stabilizers throughout her two back layouts. Very solid. Here's a side by side of world champion Alicia Dudnik and Suni Lee. They both square up very well after their side aerial and they make any adjustments or micro adjustments invisible to the naked eye. When I watch Suni on this particular leap I notice that if she had any bobble or adjustment it always seem to be on her right side. In the past she dismounted with a flip flop step out, flip flop into a double full or a back flip with two twists. Now she dismounts with a gainer layout full or a Steingruber. It's a bit unconventional but it still has a difficulty rating of a D. Moving on to uneven bars. Suni has changed the structure of her routine and also made some small adjustments. The biggest change is she did not perform her toe on laid out to Kachev or Nabieva at nationals. Here are a few really nice sequences she did then and still does now. What stands out to me is that she's still rhythmical, consistent, and solid with these sequences. A small change is she now does a straddled Jaeger or front flip recatch as opposed to a pike front recatch. The straddle and pike have the same difficulty value, great control on both. She does consistently seem to have a slight leg separation on her pre-flight into her Maloney or reverse hect from the low bar to the high bar. I'm sure she's conscientious of this and always trying to improve this. This is a very common place for leg separations and I know the judges look for this. Remember this is slow motion and shows much more. Very tight form and control in her ginger or backflip with a half turn recatch in both versions. She still has very tight handstand positions consistently vertical or very close to vertical. Very nice. Here's another change. She now does a toe on soul circle full pirouette before a dismount where she used to do a giant full pirouette before a dismount. They are both noticeably past vertical in this instance. Her half and half out dismount has always been very comfortable and clean for her and remains so. Suni looks very prepared for the Olympic trials. There are some smaller noticeable changes and differences but in general she's done an incredible job of getting prepared for the Olympic trials and I really hope she has a great competition. I've included my video that goes into much more detail of the challenges and preparation of Suni Lee's comeback as well. Suni's coming back from a very unexpected kidney disease and she's trying to qualify for the Olympic Games. I'll be doing some side-by-side -side comparison of Suni before and after the discovery of her kidney issues and look for improvements and upgrades. Initially she had to stop training for a while because of her excessive bloating and not knowing exactly what the cause of her illness was. Now after being medically evaluated and medicated she seems to be able to move forward with her training and the pursuit of her goals a bit more normally but her kidney condition still requires constant monitoring. Suni's college career was abbreviated but very successful. The rules are less demanding in college than they are for the Olympics so she's in the process of upgrading her routines back to her formal Olympic quality and ideally beyond. Let's take a look at some of those potential upgrades and also how the quality of her gymnastics is now compared to her pre-kidney condition. Let's get started. Here's her Nebieva or toe on layout reverse heck. 
it looks very similar with great extension and a strong throw. In her college career, she didn't need to do this skill to score well, so it appears she may be preparing to reincorporate this skill into her routine. Her full twisting layout transition to the low bar looks clean, controlled, and even comfortable. In her version on the left, she doesn't put her toes on the bar, and I wonder how she's going to use this skill in her combinations in the future. This is a full twisting layout front regrab or a full twisting Jaeger recatch. In men's gymnastics, it's called a Winkler. In women's gymnastics, it will be called the Lee, named after Suni if she does it in an international competition. She initiates the front flip and then begins the twist. She sees the bar at this point. When we slow this down and look closer, in slow motion, when we look at the Ginger and her skill, the Lee, the end of the skill looks exactly like the end of a Ginger. Her challenge seems to be rotating her flip enough to get back to the bar comfortably. The Ginger rotates well, but the Lee stalls a bit, and this contributes to making it more difficult to re-grab the bar. Here's an example. She's completed the first twist, but her flip is almost vertical. I think as she gets stronger with this skill, she'll rotate more and get back to the bar more comfortably and more consistent. Her pack salto to the low bar remains clean. Here's another new skill for her. It's a toe on reverse heck with a full twist catching the high bar and mixed grip. She starts it just as a normal half turn regrab, but adds a mixed grip catch to complete the full twist. That's pretty cool. Here's a faster look. She does this skill straight with a half twist and a full twist. So it'll be cool to see how she incorporates this skill into a routine. Her ginger or flyaway half turn to a regrab looks identical, very clean and comfortable. This is the same for her dismount. It looks very clean and very comfortable. Let's move over to beam. I have to say, the skills she used to do four years ago compared to this look really similar. She's got a lot of experience behind her, and this helps her to work wiser as well as hard. An athlete is like a computer, and when they train, they are programming that computer. When the competition starts, they raise their hand to the judge, and they hit execute to run their program. The more programming that goes into training, the more muscle memory is formed, and the more automatic even the most difficult skills become. Considering her kidney condition and being a little older, I think consistency becomes the bigger challenge. She has the skills and seems to continue doing them extremely well. My hope for her is that she can find a balanced way to program her computer or train while negotiating her kidney condition and adjusting from the collegiate scene back to the international scene with the level of her gymnastics. If she can put it all together, she really is doing some really great gymnastics. Historically, Suni's been very consistent on the beam. Her current dismount has changed from a flip-flop step out, flip-flop punch double full, or back flip with a double twist, to a tucked gainer full, or a gainer tucked back with a full twist. You don't see that skill very often, but she can also do a double pike dismount, so she has a few options. This is a round off back layout step out into two back handspring step outs. The skills are there now, and it only seems a matter of choosing what skills to use and putting them together in the most consistent and high valued way. For her vault, she's currently doing a Yurchinko layout full, or a back flip with a full twist. Her normal vault is a double twist in Yurchinko. This vault actually already looks high enough to do the double twist, as I assume she's focusing on getting stronger with her technique at this time. Here's her current training of her Yurchinko double full. And here's a comparison of her vault in 2020 compared to 2024. On this particular vault, on the left, she gets on the horse a little bit lower. The form and height are still pretty similar. She gets the twist around a little bit more on the left, but as she gets stronger and does more of these vaults, the twist should come around more and more. Now over to floor. Her Olympic mount was a tuck double double, or a double back flip with two twists. From my understanding, she currently most often mounts with a double layout. When you see her current double layout next to her Olympic double layout, it looks almost the same with very good height and good form. Very nice. I just put this in because it looks really cool when you freeze frame it. Again, in her dance elements and split skills, she shows beautiful flexibility. Great split here. Now I move on to what's been her most traditional dismount, a round off one and a half twisting back layout, immediately punching into a layout full twisting front. When we compare it to her 2020 Olympic floor routine, it looks almost the same, appearing very clean and very comfortable. Suni also seems uniquely balanced on these very popular and difficult squatted one leg spins. She does this on beam as well. I've also done a very in-depth analysis of Suni Lee's bar routine. I'll leave a link to that video in the description. Thanks again for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed this video and got some value from it. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of this type of content and feel free to leave any thoughts in the comments. Until next time, rock on!